the very good evening so first of all we are going to do some online exercises okay now so first of all we are going to do polite uh, you know like polite uh, this exercise vocabulary okay so i'm just going to paste the link here in the chat box itself where are other people they are still in class Okay. Okay. So just wait for a while. This is the link. All three of you, that is Sandeep, Darshana, and Kelvin. You just click on this and solve it. Okay. So just solve this, Sandeep, Kelvin. and darshana okay 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 uh, are you able to open that link everyone out there it's not opening and how about you kelvin and sandeep are you able to open it not found wait i'm going to try just give me a moment please just wait Okay, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, everyone, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. see i'm just going to give you the link again just let me know if you are able to open it or not okay wait polite inquiries matching quiz okay i'm just going to paste it again just open it now Just try it again. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Fine. in new job you are able to do it are you able to open it now everyone out there sandeep is able to open it asif adikoya darshana kelvin just try to open it in a new tab 
just copy it and paste it and then it is going to open Okay. Okay. Is everyone able to open it? Kelvin, Tarshana, Sandeep, Asif, and Adikoya, and Mohammed. Okay, Adikoya, just copy the link and paste it in a new tab. It would be able to, you would be able to open it. Fine. Yeah. So Darshana, have you opened that link? Sandeep, say yes or no, Asif, Etikoya and Mohammed. Have you all opened the link? Kelvin. Yeah. Kelvin, have you opened the link? Say yes or no. Darshana, have you opened it? Asif? Um, okay, uh, Kelvin, just copy the link and paste it in a new tab. Adikoya and Mohammed, have you opened it or not? Okay, okay, good. Prabhavati. We are doing an online exercise today. We'll also do some English. Okay. So the link is here in the chat box itself. Just copy it and paste it in the new tab. Okay.
Prabhavati, have you opened it? Prabhavati, please open it. If are you able to open it or not, just let me know in the chat box. For a change, I have just introduced these online exercises. And how about others? Prabhavati, just open it. And Darshana? It's okay. What will you do then, Prabhavati? How will you open that? Uh, once you people are done, just let me know. In the meanwhile, Prabhavati, she can do one thing. Mm, what should I say? You just do this reading. Okay. I just put it. Copy and paste it in and or just wait for a while. Okay, let others finish the first exercise and then we are going to do the business English expression. Okay. Okay, so after this we are going to do business English expression. I can understand the body. Dashana, are you done with it? Okay. Asif, how about you? Adikoya, Mohammed, Prabhavati. Darshana is done. Uh, Prabhavati is not doing it. Mohammed, are you done? Adikoya, are you done? Asif. Are you done? Okay. Is everyone done with it? Okay. Okay. Now see. Everyone is done with it. Are you able to see the board properly? Everyone out there including Maria. Maria, welcome to the class. Sandeep and Maria, welcome to the class. Now let's do some business English expressions. And uh, this, these business English expressions we haven't done uh, since long. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Alright. Now, so these business English expressions, I hope you are able to see it on the board well. Right? Okay. 800 pound gorilla. What does that expression mean? The biggest, most powerful group or company. So, can you give me an example of 800 pound gorilla? Like some, some company which is very powerful. It is known as 800 pound gorilla. Fine everyone. Hi Sunil. We are doing business English expressions today. So, the first one I have taught them is 800 pound gorilla. It means the biggest, most powerful group or company. So can you give me an example of 800 pound gorilla? Everyone out there. Uh, Prabha is saying Microsoft. Sunil is saying Pepsi. It's not Pepsi, Sunil. It's PepsiCo. Why do you feel, why are you putting them in the category of 800 pound gorilla? You have to give reasons for it. See, you people are saying these companies are, eight, they can fall into the category, they are liable enough to be, you know, to fall under 800 pound gorilla. That expression, why do you feel so? Can you give me a, a reason for the same? Everyone out there. Why do you feel it is like 800 pound gorilla, these companies which you have listed on the board? Okay. 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 Now, example. If we follow our plan to make this new software, we are going to have a lot of competition, including the 800. Okay. Just a second. I'm just going to move it here. Including the 800 pound gorilla. Now, the second one is a rising tide. Okay. A rising tide. Fine. Fine, everyone. 
what is a rising tide that lifts all boats something that helps all people or all groups so a rising tide that lifts all boats is something that helps all people or all groups fine we are only number 3 but the current economic growth will lift all boats so we are we are sure to make a profit this year fine a rising tide that lifts all, all boats means a something that helps all people or all groups fine everyone is it clear Yeah. Yeah. Now, an old hand, a person who has long experience, especially in one place. So, a old hand is someone who is quite experienced in something. Okay. Like Narayan Murthy, he is an old hand when it comes to setting up a you know like company, right? Ajim H. Premji, the founder of Wipro, he is an old man too. I mean, old hand too, because he has got a lot of experience. he has uh, you know like started up with that company and that company is doing exceptionally well and same is applicable to ambani right they are an old man yeah yeah at the 11th hour very late at the very last minute okay the negotiate they they negotiated until late at night and it seemed they would never agree agree finally at the 11th hour they came to a conclusion that they had agreed So sometimes you know during initially during when you see sometimes initially you feel um, you know you ne will never win but at the eleventh hour you may just win and you know teams often win at eleventh hour especially in matches right for the entire match you might feel that company the the team will lose that the specific team is going to lose okay but at the eleventh hour anything can happen right either of the teams can win right everyone. Is it clear, everyone? Any questions? No. On a shoestring with limited money. If I am on a shoestring, that means I have got a limited money. They started their company on a shoestring. It's always good to go for a change, right? So that's why I picked up this thing and I thought of covering this rather than covering HR and policies. You know, it's good to have a change. And your teacher is coming back. I have got one news for you. One good news. Your teacher, Vishesh sir, he is coming back. Okay, so he is going to teach you. Again, you are going to get classes from him as well soon. He is going to start up with you soon. Like from Monday onwards, he is going to start with you. Okay, so he he used to teach you mathematics. I don't have any you know this uh, uh, like idea about Mr. Jude. He is having some health issues, so that's why he is on leave. But yeah, Mr. Vishesh is coming back. I guess. This is what I know. I had been told. Okay. Okay. Now two things with limited money. So all during you know past few weeks. From past few weeks we were doing this HR thing and case studies. We were just entangled in that. So for a change, I thought of switching to business English. Okay. So that uh, it's not monotonous for you as well as for me. Okay. On a two string means limited money. Example. They started their company on a shoestring and built it up, one of the largest companies in the world. So it's not like if someone is on a shoestring, they can never grow rich. It's not like that. It's up to your hard work. Even if you are on a shoestring and you start up with something and you are putting your creativity into that and you are being loyal to the customers, you are doing justice to the customers. You are not, uh, you know, like uh, you are good. You are, uh, you know, continuing with the quality you started up with. Irrespective of how much profit you are making, then obviously you are going to do good, right? So a company should never sacrifice the quality, irrespective of how much profit they are making. Otherwise, you know, it will lead to a downfall, as we have studied in yesterday's case study, right? So we have covered one group yesterday in our case study. What was that group? What was that group? we were doing case study yesterday on a particular group what was that group what was the name this is for people who were there yesterday it was a transport but what was the name of the group was it not n it it, it was it started it starts with n so what was the name n e are the initials what is the name you just cannot recall i national express very good sandeep Yeah, correct, Sunil. Okay. Now, bring to the table whatever you can possibly offer. 
Okay, I will meet with teachers Joe's new company to show him what we can bring to the table, what we can possibly offer. See if the companies can bring to the table what they can deliver. Um, you know, they will do justice to the customers, and they will. This is how they can attract more customers, right? Rather than promising what they cannot deliver. See what they can, a company should always bring to the table what they can deliver. They should just not try to lure the customers by making false, uh, you know, like false, um, you know, promises. Rather, they should bring to the table what they can offer. This is how they can make profit, right? Right? Carve out a niche, okay? Find a special market that you can control, okay? To succeed in this competitive world, you have to focus on a part of it. Try to carve out a niche and be, okay, be number one in, in that R. So carve out a niche means find a special market that you can control, right? Deep pockets, have a lot of money, okay? If there is a prize war, we won't win because we don't have deep enough pockets. Deep pockets means have a lot of money, fine? Is it clear? I hope you people are enjoying this new topic which I am covering today. Okay, now. Is this much clear to everyone? Okay. Now, you have to do one online quiz again, okay, I am just pasting the link in the chat box, okay, you have to open it and you have to solve it, everyone out there except Prabhavati, Prabhavati you need to, you know what you need to do, 800 pound gorilla, you, you have to write one paragraph on that, fine, and others please solve this online quiz, fine. Is it clear everyone what you have to do here? And once you have solved that exercise, everyone out there, Suni, you have to copy it and paste it in the URL, then only you would be able to open it. Just copy the link and paste it in another window so that you can open it. Fine. Kelvin, are you able to open it? And once you have solved the first one, please solve the second one too. The link is pasted in the chat box. Fine everyone? Except Prabhavati. She is going to write on 800 pound gorilla. A paragraph on that. Kelvin? Uh, so you too write on an 800 pound gorilla. Uh, one paragraph on that. Fine? Fine, Maria and Prabhavati and Kelvin, Darshana, Eddie Koya, you have to solve both the links. Whatever exercises are there under both the links, uh, you know, you have to solve that. Kelvin, Darshana, Eddie Koya, Mohammed, uh, Sandeep, Sunil and Asif, are you able to open the first link? Once you have done the first link, just open the second one. Okay. No, Maria, you just need not to write just one word. You have to write a paragraph on that, 800 pound gorilla. So rather than writing one line, okay, or one word, you have to write a paragraph, okay? Yeah, okay. And, uh, okay, let me ask everyone else, like whether they are following that online exercise or not. 
Kelvin, are you sol are you able to open the first exercise? Are you solving that? Yes or no? Darshana, how about you? Adikoya, how about you? Mohammed, how about you? Sandeep and Sunil and Asif. Adikoya, it's very simple. You have to copy it. Okay, you have to copy it and paste it in the URL. Then only you will be able to open it. Sunil, you have got 80% in the first exercise. Now, just solve the second one if you are done with the first one. Sunil. Asif, you are also solving it, right? Okay, Kelvin and Darshana, you are done with the first one. Why don't you solve the second one? Ask if you need to solve the second one. For everyone who has solved the first exercise, just switch over to the second one. Fine? Is it clear, everyone? Once you are done with the second exercise, just let me know, everyone out there. Okay, Prabhavati is done with it. How about you, Maria? Fine, Prabhavati. It's good. Is everyone done with this? it? Shall we proceed ahead? Okay. Shall we do the business expressions again? Shall we start with it again? Okay, okay. Let's proceed ahead with it. Okay, please say heed to the boss. Downtime. When equipment or facilities are not available, so you cannot work. See, downtime, if there is a downtime in your office, that means computer must be down or server must be down, so you just cannot work. Okay, there will, prob okay, there will probably be a lot of downtime at the conference, so I am bringing a lot of paperwork. Okay. When equipment or facilities are not available, so you just cannot work. Fine, Asif. Okay. So, uh, in what all conditions you have a downtime at office? Like, 
you might have experienced downtime in your office great mohammad asif okay you might have experienced a downtime in your office when does that happen for me it's like when server is not working it would be a downtime for me how about you can you give me an example can you cite out an example not recession it's like when equipment or facilities are not available so you cannot work prabhavati give me a valid example please like when server is not working give, give me a valid example everyone out there Yes, systems are down. Okay. 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 Fine. Draw a line in the sand. Make final conditions that cannot be changed. Okay. Yes. Draw a line in the sand means making make final conditions that cannot be changed. We have to draw a line in the sand so they will see that is really our final offer. Fine. Drawing a line in the sand means making final conditions that cannot be changed. free ride get benefit at no cost free ride would be you are getting a benefit and at no cost of course we should make them pay for our travel expenses why should we give them a free ride free ride is like let me give you an, another example free ride would be you know uh, like uh, when you are going for a official trip and you are also taking your family there okay and they are paying for that it would be a free ride getting benefit at no cost right it's not like uh, during the official tour you are going to work for the entire day long right on weekends you can have a outing with your family right many people do that you know okay now from day 1 from the beginning Teacher Joe has been providing the best English learning website from day one. Get your foot in the door. Have a small opportunity that can become a big opportunity in the future if you do good work. Okay. So if you see when you when you are being hired as a trainee for some company, it's like you are getting your foot in the door, right? You are getting your foot in the door, right? When you are being hired as a trainee in some company, right? Because that is a small opportunity. and if you are going to do well they'll absorb you and you can you know climb the ladder of success right if you'll do work if you'll work well obviously first of all you'll be a team you know member then if you're going to work well you are going to you know like jump to a position of team leader right you are going to get uh, hello are you not there no one is responding are you people not there please let me know in the chat box whether you are able to hear me well or not okay So see, when if you see if you are being hired as a trainee in some company, it's like getting your foot in the door, right? And obviously, it can change into a big opportunity if you are going to work hard. Right? You are going to get promoted to you know, like superior position from time to time. I need it yesterday. An informal way to say it is needed immediately. If I say I need it yesterday, that means I need it immediately. Can I send that report to you later this afternoon? No. i need that report yesterday so it's like i need it immediately and that is a informal way of saying it a two way street both people or both groups can contribute okay yeah many bosses do this you know they don't consider as a, the employees as humans na right? so that's why they need it yesterday only most of the times they they will be like i need it yesterday yeah now a two way street both people or both groups can contribute or benefit from the situation we want to help you but we need your help too it's a two way street like give and take right two way street is both the groups can contribute and both can benefit from each other like symbiotic kind of relationship symbiotic relationship right both are being benefited not symbiotic exactly there is one word used for the same what is that mutualism mutualism right 
Mutualism is like both the part. Yeah, mutualism is like both the parties are being benefited from the association. Mutualism, right? Like you are working for the company and you are being paid for the same. That is mutualism, right? You are providing your services to them and they are giving you money, right? As a salary, it will never fly. It won't be successful. If I say something will never fly, it won't be successful ever. Okay? We don't have to worry about their idea competing with ours. It will never fly. Okay? Now, it's jungle out there. It's difficult market with many tough competitors. If I say it's jungle out there, you know, it. we often make that quote, you know, when it comes to, you know, like getting jobs. Like it's jungle out there. There are so many competitive, tough competitors there when it comes to a job market, right? Do you think a new company can survive without a unique product? It's a real jungle out there. Okay? Is it here? Now, jump through hoops. So, you people got the notification about the examination? Someone was telling yesterday, right? Like, when are we going to, when are you people going to get your exam? When do you need to give your exam? So, someone was saying, I think Maria was saying yesterday, I don't, as far as I can recall. So, does anyone got the notification? Do you have any idea about the examination? Someone was asking. I don't know who was it. I just can't recall. Maria, you were the one who were telling, who was telling about the examinations. It was in April. You were the one who said that. Okay, in a, they are in June. So, from where you got uh, that, uh, you know, like, notification? From where you, you got that information, Maria? So, from where you got that update, Maria? So, you can give it in March and June too. Right, Maria? Okay. Okay, for Dubai Center, it's March, okay? Darshana is asking something, Maria. Can you please update her on the same? She is going to give the examination in June. Okay, okay. So, most of you will be giving it in June, right? And for how, okay. Okay, Darshana, and how, for how many of you it's the first year? Like Maria, is it the first year for you or the second year? Sandeep, how about you? Sunil, Asif, Mohammed, Prabha, Editoria, Darshana, Kelvin. Okay. Sandeep, for Sandeep it's first year, okay. Maria, okay. Okay, okay, fine, fine. All right. Now, okay, okay, fine. Jump through hoop. Okay, trying very hard. He is a tough boss. All of his subordinates have jumped through hoops to provide their loyalty to the company. So, jump through hoops means trying very hard. Okay, put your cards on the table. If I'm putting my cards on the table, I am being completely honest. I think it's time to put all of your cards on the table. Here is what we see. Fine. Now, learning curve. How much time needed to learn something new? Learning curve means how much time is needed to learn something new. If something is a learning curve, how much time needed to learn something new? The new software has a learning long learning curve so so we have to give our staff enough time to learn how to use it learning curve means how much time is needed to learn something new is this much clear to everyone any questions so far do you have any questions anyone out there okay now let's do some more you know like online quizzes uh, yeah. All right. I'm just going to put it on the board this time. Okay. 
the link itself. Okay. This is a listening exercise, everyone out there, okay? So you have to solve it. Uh, yeah, just open this and try to solve this exercise, please. Everyone out there. Yeah, just solve this, everyone out there. And hi Ajit, you have joined very late. What is the reason? Okay, okay, fine, that's a good idea. Adikoya, you have to copy it and paste it in the in another window. Then only you would be able to open it. And um, you know, uh, you have to write one short paragraph on it will never fly. Prabhavati and uh, Maria as well. Adikoya, just try it one second. How about others? Are you able to open it? Yes or no? It's a listening quiz. You have to listen to it and then you can answer the question. Are you able to open it or not? Okay, okay, just uh, do that. I hope everyone is solving that. Okay, yes, yes, Prabhavati, correct. Prabhavati, just solve that, please. Uh, Sandeep, are you solving it? Sunil, Sandeep, Asif, Mohammed, Ajit, uh, Prabhavati, Adikoya, Darshana, and Kelvin.
Is everyone done with it? Great, Sandeep. How about others? Okay. Okay, so we are done for today. Do you have any questions for me? Anyone out there? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, fine. Just a second, please. Now let's uh, uh, cover few more expressions before we wind it up. Fine. If you have time, do you have any class after this? Any everyone out there? Do you have any class after this? If you can stay back for a few more minutes, it would be good. Okay. Okay, then okay, then we are going to cover this tomorrow. I hope you have enjoyed it. Okay, uh, so see you tomorrow. Fine. Please be on time, and you can take five more minutes. Uh, I'll go with the majority. Whatever the majority is going to say, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. Fine. So let's do some more of it. Fine. So let me switch over to the next part. Yeah. Level playing field. Equal conditions for all people or groups. Okay. So if it is a level playing field, that means equal conditions for all people or groups. The WTO agreement helps to level the playing field, which gives us the chance to compete anywhere in the world. And the lion's share, it means the largest part. Okay. If you want the lion's share of the profit, we'll have to do this lion. So if you want the lion's share profit, obviously you'll have to do the lion's share of the work, right? Right? So lion's share means the uh, biggest profit, the largest part of the profit. Fine. Right? Number crunching. Analyze numbers. I will go back to my office and do some number crunching. Then tell you the results tomorrow. So and number crunching means analyzing numbers. Fine. And if you have got a pipe dream, that means something that is unrealistic. Pipe dream is never realistic. Fine. Do you think we can really live on the moon someday? Or it is just a pipe dream? So can you give me an example of a pipe dream? Something you think you can do, but it's a pipe dream. Can you give me an example of a pipe dream? Or some government policies which you think is a pipe dream? Yeah. Give me an example, please. Give me an example of pipe dream, please. Okay, 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 fine. Now, play hardball. Deal in a tough way. If he tries to block this deal in any way, we will just have to start playing hardball. So that means deal with it in a tough way. Yeah. Okay. So power lunch is when you have a big business deal while eating lunch. Okay. Big business dealing while eating lunch. It would be a power lunch. Okay. The top executives met with their bankers at the best restaurant in town. It was a real power lunch. Power lunch means big business deal while eating lunch. Fine. So that's it for today. 
we are going to cover this tomorrow i hope you know okay okay i hope i was able to do justice with the subject okay and i hope you have enjoyed today's class if you want me to cover something specific in class you can just put that down in the feedback form itself okay if you have any queries any grudges you just put down that as well and just put genuine comments thank you so much thank you so much see you